Hey guys, it's Sicker and welcome to Indie Dev Kaikun, a simulation game, I think, where you are a game developer trying to make it up in the video game industry. Now, I personally have worked very hard to get a degree in video games, and which I've got absolutely nothing to prove for it outside of some stuff that I made back in university. But I've always wanted to make video games. I've just never had the motivation to do it. I'm fully happy to, well, not happy. I'm brave enough to admit that it is primarily because I keep losing the motivation or I am going far beyond my scope. So what better way than to try and make my dream a reality in a video game? So, all I know about this is that you basically simulate what it's like to make your own video game. So, we're going to go with this. Welcome to Game Dev Kaikun. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development right at the beginning of the PC revolution. The next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Okay, so, my plan is, because this seems to be based initially in the... 80s i'm gonna try and follow in the footsteps until we get to the 2000s and then then that's when i'll try and make my dream game so i don't know which which uh, companies i'm gonna follow in the footsteps of but i guess we'll find out before you start your adventure you have to give your upcoming company a name okay so i will just mail yeah i'll just meh. yeah close enough I don't really wear those kind of shirts. I wear white shirts when I do businessy stuff. Oh, there's no white shirts? That's a mark. Fine, blue. I'll go with blue because I like it. What should I call it? Glacius Game. I'll go with that. I don't know if anything like that exists. I shall go with me, of course. Tick. If you want to view the tutorial message, then you can do so in the help menu. To access the help menu, other features, okay, gotcha. You just started your own game development company. At the moment, your office is a, is in a garage. Well, that is, uh, that is, that would be a life and be. I do not have a garage or a garage, whatever. Let's start traveling your first game. Close this message and click on it anywhere on the screen to break up the action menu. Okay. Cool. Spot young startup by the game. I mean, hey, I look like a good game. So what do I need? Okay, develop a new game. For an income beginning, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your games to use. Your options are initially limited, but once you have perfect experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. Makes sense. You know, it's like when you start off, you have no clue. Uh, what should we call it? Uh, well, first let's go with the... Ooh. Uh, ooh. Interesting set of topics. We'll go with alternative history. Uh, we'll go with an adventure game. And we'll go with the PC. Like, there's a G64, but I think we'll go with the PC. Uh, what should we call this game? Hmm. I mean, I could just take a name from a game that was made currently, like... Alternate history, I mean, Thief, but that was in the 90s. Uh... Well, knowing how the game industry was... Knowing how the industry was back then, it was very kid-orientated. Uh, you know what? We'll go, we'll go a bit big for our first game. We'll go with some 2D graphics. Okay. Okay, to run for three stages. Game to each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Pick the right focus of the game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and increase the focus on areas you think are less important. Ooh. Uh, I don't think story is going to be very important. It is literally just Dino's attack. Uh, we want the gameplay to be good and we want a decent... Sh and we want the engine to be, like, well... We want it to be well optimized. So I think I'll put that to full. That one nearly full. I'll put that one there. Okay. Game development has now started. Oh boy, I wish it was that simple in my world. While developing your game, you'll generate game points. We can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. Okay, more points you generate, the better your game will be. Cool. From time to time, there'll also be bug points generated. These 
Points per less like you want to gain experience, but should be fixed before the game's release it and increase until yeah, I figured I figured as much. Ah jeez, that's some bugs. Okay, development stage two. Uh, we don't really need much about the dialogue. Level design we'll want a lot of. We want to have some really good level uh, AI though. I'm a sucker for AI, so I will always love to have good AI. God, but you have to think like how primitive the AI was back then. Like it was, oh, during development you can also select additional features for your game. Right now you can only pick basic sounds, but it'll increase quickly. Also see a graphic type you will select from the game to remind you of your choice. You can't change the type of graphics mid-game. Ooh, you want some good world design. Don't really need that crazy in the graphics because it's the 80s. They're not expecting much and some... I mean, in the 80s, they had really good sound design for what they had to work with. So I think I think that's a good amount. All right, let's see what we get here. Tell me your first game is not complete. You can press finish to publish your game, but you should only do so once you fix the majority of bugs. Okay, so we've got four bugs. So they affect the range. You only consider that if you need cash and you can't afford to wait. Okay, well, I've got 34k. i got 34k. I can wait. Perfect. All right, let's finish this game. Family game is now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. While the development is complete, you'll be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Okay, how did I do then? Eight and nine. I don't know what those are for. So new combo, new topic. Okay. All right. So I'm not going to be making. Uh, I'm not going to be making any games so far with great avant-garde stories. But you know. Yeah, let's go. A eight and nine. This looks good. Your game's now completely handed off to publishing. See reviews and sales come from it soon. Okay. Come on. First game here. First game. How did I do? A four? A three? Oh, come on! Oh, God. Oh. I feel that I made a very poor choice in my education options. Analyze and correction kit chain report, fair return research points of valid insight. Yeah, I'm gonna I wanna know what the hell went wrong there. Okay, yeah, I wanna see I wanna see what I wanna see what the hell went wrong here. Just release the first game to ask that. A moderate response. I wouldn't call a four and a three and a two moderate. Okay, how did Dino's attack do in sales? Okay, people didn't... Uh, I mean, I didn't make any of the money back that I've spent in the development. 817, though. Okay, alright. I mean, I wasn't expecting to make it all back in one day. Okay, so what, what's, the, what's the report for it? Alternative history is an okay combination of issues since starting... It's not meant to be important for this kind of game. Ah. Blech. What can I research? I want to see what I can research here. Don't make any different topic genres. Now let's start. Let's start off simple. Topic. So transport simulation. Uh, now nah, I'm gonna stick with the PC. Uh, we shall call this game. Transport Simulator. We're going to be ahead of the times here. That is not how you spell transport. The end should... The end should go there. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, we still want the 2D graphics. I might be being very silly with this, so uh, the idea of, you know... Okay. Uh, we don't really need a... Uh, we might need a few quests. To simulate a game. Gameplay. I mean, the gameplay is going to be pretty simple. Uh, don't need much with the engine here. Yeah, let's go with that. That seems like a good one. Okay. Uh, we're not making back the money that we've made from dinosaurs attacks. Yeah. Uh, don't need any dialogue. We we definitely need we definitely need good AI. We don't need that much. We need we need good AI because how how else are we going to simulate the 
the car's going about here. That's what I'm thinking here. That's just my my mindset. Okay, uh, we'll design way the hell up. Graphics, uh, we don't need that much in sound. I think we might want to have it be visually appealing. I'm just, I'm just guessing here. Uh, God, Dino Tax doesn't make me a whole lot. Okay, I'm gonna wait. Yeah, those sales, the Dino Tax is basically gone. All right. I don't know what these are for, but hey, new topic, new combo. Oof, that's a lot in the gameplay. That's a, obviously it's a lot in artificial intelligence. I am a, such a sucker for artificial intelligence. Like, I think artificial intelligence is an incredibly, like, one of the most important, like, sub parts. Like, obviously the gameplay is the most important part and such, but it's one of the sub, like, best ones. Right. First fuse, transport similar came in. Come on! Okay! A six, that's reasonable. Reasonable. That's good. Eight, that's a good one. That's a very good one. Eight, yeah! Okay, this looks better. Simulation games work on PC. Well, of course they do. So, Star Games was the party pooper here. That's fine. Six is still look decent. That's us say. It's now off the market, so 3,000 units generating 2,000. That was not a lot. Okay, uh, I need to... Uh, you know what? You know what? I'm going to generate another report here. I want to see I want to see how this does. That's a lot of sales. Now selling the PC sector for the lower price, great availability, flexible hardware. That's really... Uh, do I really want to go with this? Oh, we got 20 fans. Cool. All right, I want to see how this stood, because now I can get a good idea of things. Company sales record over 10k sold. Important milestone. Sweet. All right, okay, I've made the money back. You know what, I... Okay, what does it say here about Transport Simulator? Great combination. I knew it. Very important. Okay, okay. So, if I ever want to go back and make another sequel... All right, uh, you know what? Let's... Yeah, okay, let's let's give these guys a shot because they're getting Yeah, let's get the dev kit for this thing. Uh we will go with Alternate Alternate History again. Uh we will have an RPG alternate history. Uh I had a very political name for it, but I will just say I'll just call it After the War. Uh, text base. We'll have a text base. We'll, we'll, we'll be a bit more... We'll, we'll budget it a little bit. We're putting a lot into the development kit for this one. Uh, we don't need much of the gameplay. We need a lot into those. I don't think we need to focus too much on the engine. It's text based. You know, it just... The commands need to work and the... That's it. Uh, dial... Oh, we definitely need dialogue. We don't need much in our official intelligence. Level design. There's no need for much level design because, you know, it's... Oh, unless you're referring to that, but we definitely I definitely want it to be a dialogue heavy game. Like that's what I'm seeing it as. Okay, this guy's only found free books. Ooh, okay. Uh world design. We don't need much it's it's a text based, so Yeah. Yeah, that'll work, just like having sounds. Console rumors, Japanese company Ninvento is planning to launch its own home console. Nintendo is known for the widely successful arcade Dinky King. Many interesting experts say that home gaming console will take off, but you can see... Well, yeah, I mean, this is this is literally right when Nintendo came onto the scene. Transport Simulator is still doing alright. Still doing alright. Free bugs. God, I wish that was the case. I'm gonna wait. Okay, how, how did uh, Transport Simulator do? <sighs> That's a lot. Okay, after the war. Let's see how this does. 13 in something. Design. Oh, design technology. Oh, I get it. Now. So the color of it's different to what's on there. That's that's the thing that confuses me here. Ooh, level of artificial intelligence and world design. God, does that mean I'm gonna be? Well, that doesn't mean I'm gonna be like Bethesda. Okay, how does this? How's this gonna do? Uh, let's research a new topic at this point. Ooh, ooh, superheroes. Yeah, let's start researching superheroes. First review from After the War. Come on for good stuff. 
Okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, eh. Yeah, crap. It's kind of average. Kind of average. Eh. I mean, it's it's not amazing, but you know what? I'll take it. How's it? How's after the war gonna do though? Contracts have been unlocked. Okay. Cool. After the war's not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. It's only like a couple of thousand. And, oh, today Nintendo confirmed the recent rumors announced their plans to release a new home gaming system to test earlier this year. Console is based on a cartridge based on a uniquely designed controller. What does it say? I think you have potential. I'm in the contract in business. We can use skills like yours. If you have a strong cash, let me know and I'll see if you've got some work for you. Jason. Okay, Jason. Okay, superheroes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I... It's not out yet. I got it. I got one. I got one. I got one. Heroes. Heroes Day. Hero Day. Uh, we will go with a simulation. We will go without superheroes on the PC. It will be 2D based graphics. Uh, engine. Uh, less on that. Okay, I've got I've got this in my head, so I want to, I want to keep going with this while it's in my head. Uh, dialogue, yeah, we're gonna need some decent level design, and artificial intelligence. Okay, the dialogue's gonna suffer a little bit, but I'm gonna try and put a nice balance in on this one. Oh, from Greenheart Games, we're the creators of Game Dev, and we're like, thank you very much for purchasing the game, supporting us. Game Dev is our very first game, it means like- This is their first game?! God, that makes me feel insignificant! Well, hey, Patrick and Daniel Klug, uh, congrats on this. It's a very simple game, but I guess... Ah, that just goes back to the fact that I always make things beyond my scope. I need to make- I need to make simple games before I do anything. Insights game, learn what works, what whatnot. These insights are shown as hints on the development screen unless you have to turn this option off in the settings. Hints range from plus to a minus to indicate how important areas for a game. Okay, alright. Graphics, we're not too sure, but you know what? Let's go with that. Oh, we want some very, we want some crunchy sounds. Like, typical, like, old cartoon, like, sound, crunchy sound effects. Like, like the 70s and 80s sound effects. We are in the 70s and 80s, after all. Okay, I'm gonna get these books on. Not a lot of books this time. That's interesting. I lost a fan. Okay. All right. Okay. I get the feeling this isn't gonna do too good just because my design and technology were pretty low. But uh, we oh, we didn't level up on level design, really. Okay. Well, we got the graphics up. I guess with hey, I'm level two at the very least. Let's do this. Let's see how we do. Uh, let's generate another game report. I want to see how after the war did. Hero day. How'd this do? How'd this do? How'd this do? How'd this do? Four? Uninspiring? You a free? A free? You can't go wrong with superheroes unless it's Superman 64. Unless that's what I just made. God, I hope I didn't make that. Ooh, okay, after the war is off the market. How did that do? 8,000 units. Okay, alright. Oh, Hero Day is doing horrible. Hero Day is doing so bad. Oh, but she's a great combination. Level signs is quite important for this type of game. Okay, alright. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's make another game. Pick the topic. Uh, you know, we'll go with... We'll make another simulator game. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I know what we'll do. I know what we'll do. Uh, we'll research. Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's, let's look into making a custom game engine. It'll have to be upgraded eventually, but we can make a custom game engine. Okay, it's been released. I'm going to want to jump on that as soon as possible. Alright, so I can create my own game engine. Sweet. Game tutorials and mono sound. Okay, uh, let's see, what kind of options do I got? I can't afford that. Okay, 
Uh, so what I'll do instead, I'll develop a new game. And I'll pick the topic. We'll make it be... Let's try superheroes again. Superhero... Action game. On the... You know, I got a better idea. I got a better idea, because I know this works really well. Uh, the game shall be called... League of Hero. Heroes. 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 League of Super People. Uh, we'll have it text-based. No, graphics. Graphics. Ah, I'm gonna Hero Day got a boost in sales there. Uh, don't need a whole lot of that, I don't think. Yeah, that seems like a good balance there. God, how am I gonna get enough money for this for the Vez or Nez or whatever? Artificial intelligence, good with that dialogue. We can tone down the dialogue a little bit on that one. Hero Day is off the market. How did that do? <sighs> Only 2,000 units. Jeez. Ooh, okay. Graphics. We're going to want to pump the graphics up quite a bit here. And we'll pump down this. We'll sacrifice... We'll sacrifice some sound. 8K monthly cost. Jeez. Okay, i got to wait for those books. That's a lot of books. Okay, finish. Okay, so it's it seems designed technology-wise, it's not spectacular, but, you know, it doesn't matter. We're just, we're starting out. We're not going to be making the next, like, whatever game. Right, let's do it. Let's go with this. Okay, uh... Because people I want to see, I want to see how this did. This is, go this is just me being overly cautious. I'm a person that can... Oh. Oh. That's not good. What went wrong? What went wrong? that much. Oh. Okay. Uh, game history, how did these do? So I got 10k lost. Okay, I got a profit with After the War. And Transport Simulator also did really good. So, you know what? Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, okay. Let's try and salvage this a little bit. PC. Tran... Transport Simulator 2. Yeah, okay, all right. Ah, uh, jeez, okay. Uh, uh, I don't know. Important. Design artificial intelligence. Let's crank it all up. Uh, this is not going well. Okay, graphics. Very important. Sound. Okay, we'll design. Uh, we'll sacrifice some sound. God, all I wanted to do was get a license to work at Ninvento. Or work on Ninvento. God, six bugs. That's a lot. Okay, now off the market, sold. God, that's so bad. Okay, all right, that's good, that's good. That could be good, that could be good. That could be what I need. This could easily be what is necessary. You know, they love Transport Simulator, they'll probably want Transport Simulator 2 a bit more, maybe. 
God, you're all just figuring out. Wait, hero day. I've already did hero day. Okay, come on. That is good. That is very good. That is very good. As informed game said, that is good. Oh, the nine? Ah, oh, so what? Am I good with a trans... I don't want to be a developer known for making simulator games, though. It's not my thing. Ah, oh, there it goes. It's going up. It's going up. Okay, one thing. I love games that come with the tennis playing the keyboard. So much fun in on a keyboard. Okay. Uh, Post-release of Hero Day. Seems quite important for this type of game. Okay, more information on that one. Oh, wait, no, I can do it. I can develop on, I can develop on this. I can develop on the Tez. Yes, yes, I will pay the 80 grand. Uh, alternate history, uh, RPG, wait, no, uh, yeah, no, uh, no, 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 I got it. Yes, 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 and we'll call it, um, d d uh, dancing adventure. Yes, obviously. We're on a we're on a console here. We're on a console. You can't do text based on a console. Uh oh, definitely lines of the story and quest here. It's gonna be a very important thing. Gameplay can be slightly that and the engine could be slightly less than that. God, this is this is what I see in video games, and that's how I'm judging on how what goes where. Uh dialogue, level design, artificial intelligence, not so much. Not so much, you, 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 it's not that crazy. Dialogue, we want to have like a, a really deep story on this one. The artificial intelligence, yeah, it's an important thing, but it's very simple. It's a list of commands like if this and that. Oh, world design, definitely want a whole lot in world design and sound. Yeah, sound will suffer a little bit, but it's... Uh, we'll make graphics suffer. We want to have really good, oh, like a really good world. We want people to return back to this. Okay, come on. Get rid of the books. All right. I made a big investment on this one. I made a very big investment on this one. And it's on a topic and combo that I've... A new topic and a new, like, thing that I've never done before. This is going to be my... This is going to be the company's first step into RPGs. Come on. I want to generate a game report for Transport Simulator 2 as well. I want to see how that did. Okay. Come on. That doesn't look good. That does not look good. Dancing and RPG is not a good combination, is it? Again, it's also increased for more specialized platforms, more popular young gamers, so okay, some more mature age groups. And to the market, we expect developers to focus against specific age groups to really make an impact. Okay. Okay, yeah, no, that'll be important as well, I think. I've got a lot of research points, I better use them. I can't make a good custom game engine right now. Oh, wait, I can do contract work. Of course. Okay, what was it? What was the reason? What was the reason? I knew it! I got the other stuff right, though. Okay, you know what? I'll take some contract work. Okay. So, what do I need here? Which one would be best? I get 14k for that one. I get 23k for that one. Yeah, I'm going to take the risk on this one. Then another... That's Sega. That is Sega, and if it is, I'm gonna go for that one because I'm just a big old Sega fanboy. Okay, I got this. I got this. I made this. I made the contract in time. Uh, let's do this. Oh, cool.
Yeah, I don't have much in options here, but I'll create the engine. Game Engine 1. Yeah, crap. Well, I guess it's going to be called Game Engine 1. I would have called it something there, but I didn't. Oops. Okay, how did Dancing Adventure do then? That was horrible. Okay, it made a decent amount in sales, even though, like, people hated it. Yep, there we go. There's the Master System. Never had a Master System. Had a Mega Drive. Oh god, Amelia Cash. I should use it, but I'm gonna take some contracting work first. Uh, something simple. Yeah, we'll go with that. Just to, just to get a little bit of money in. Uh, buddy? Technology. Okay. Alright, so contract successful. So let us develop a new game. We'll use Game Engine 1, even though that's not the name I want it for. For the which platform? No, I'm gonna go with that again. Which genre? Adventure. Uh, nah, I'm making too many superhero ones. Let's go with another, let's go with an alternate history. Okay, combo. Alright, uh, action. I got it! Dinos! Attack! The Return! I think that was like the very first game I made on this. Uh, oh, hell yeah, we're going to go for that. I will go into debt for this. Up to 50k. It's fine. I am making, like, the biggest risk I can. Not a linear story. Actually, yeah, linear story. Let's do this. I'm going to make a giant-ass gamble. Oh. I'll, I'll take this. This is a- I just made the biggest gamble ever. I think I've screwed myself over. Oh, I think I- I think I'm not have goofed up. I think I might have screwed myself over here. Okay, great. I think I- I think I've- I think I've- I, I mean, there's no simple way to put it. I think I fucked myself. I may have massively just... I think I've massively screwed myself over here. Because I gotta I got pay these guys back 138,000... In like, I don't know when. Okay, come on. Give me some of good here. Okay, that's good. That's pretty damn good. Alright. Things seem to be looking up pretty well. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah. I mean, this you can't please everyone, I guess. All right. Okay. It's it's a it's above average. It's above average. That's good. Okay. I don't have time to do. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna research. I'm gonna research. Uh. I don't have enough for any of these. I'll research a new topic. Uh. Expedition. Yeah, I'll research Expedition. Come on, Dino Attack. I am counting on you. Say 8K? Okay, alright. Alright, that's... Oh, that's not good. Oh, those sales are dropping off way too quickly. Like, I got enough to pay back the bank. But I, I don't have enough for a game report. I have to just... Uh, climb the mountain, I think I'll call it. Uh, we shall be an expedition simulator. I seem to be good with those. And we'll put it on PC. Uh, we'll use my game engine. Game engine 1. 
text based. Yeah, we'll make it a text based simulator. We're, we're gonna budget it off a bit for climb the mountain. Uh, so those are gonna need to be a big part. Yeah, we'll have that. We'll have. Uh, we don't need linear story. We don't need a linear story for this. We're, we're, we're just. It's a simulator game. You don't need a simulator game to be linear. That'd be rather silly. Uh, dialogue. We don't need a whole lot in the dialogue. Okay, uh, yeah, we want to have those, like, those mountain critters. Okay, alright. Uh, it looks like I'm making back the money pretty decently. Uh, graphics. We're going to put a line to graphics sound. We'll design. We'll lessen. We'll design a little bit so graphics can have a bit more to shine. Down attack is off the market. How did that do? All right, okay, it's made it's made a decent amount. I think it's made its money back. We'll just wait for oh casual games, cool. Wait, I wasn't making casual stuff. Right, so no new record, but I can imagine this is going to be pretty decent. And as I get better, I assume my games are going to be better as well. I would hope. But yeah, just looking at this, it kind of like it's kind of like an eye opener, like. Like, the, the guys who made this actual game is... Holy crap, I've been playing for that long. Okay, uh... Alright, uh... Okay, good thing I didn't really put much into the Gov... Govador G... Whatever. Okay, so... First reviews for Climb the Mountain. Come on, exhibition and simulation. Hey! You know what? It's not a 10, but I'll take that. Oh, two good hits. Two good hits in a row. I think. I think that was two good hits in a row. One of the best. Yeah. Alright, well that's all the time I got for today. I've been playing this way too long. So I'm just going to see how the sales go in and then I'm going to call it good. That's doing good. Okay, so that's all the time I got for today. So, I played this a lot longer than I thought I was going to. <laughs> hey! Okay, I can spend some time doing some research. Researching some big things here. See, so yeah, I'm probably going to continue on with this. But for now, I'm going to call it good. So I'll just save. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.